everyone, Tim Schofield here from KeepItKing77.com here to do a video showing you how you can manually update your Nexus 4 to the official over-the-air update of Android 5.0 Lollipop. This is totally official. Um, if you are stock, this is going to work. You do not need to be rooted. It actually may not work if you're rooted and you definitely need stock recovery as well. So let's go ahead and get started. You want to go ahead and swipe down and go ahead and go into settings on your Nexus 4. Go to about phone and then quickly tap where it says build number about seven times until it says you are now a developer. Go back and then navigate to developer options and check USB debugging and hit OK. So make sure USB debugging is checked. Then once you've done that, you can actually go ahead and plug your phone in. If you have not installed any drivers on your computer, this might install the appropriate drivers. If it does not and things do not work, I will link to what you need to do in the description of the video if it says ADB does not recognize device in the future of this video. You're also going to need to download the update zip file. I'll link to that in the description. This is from Google, the official update. If you just don't want to wait for the over-the-air update to get pushed to your device, this is uh, what you need to do to install it. Now at our PC, you'll see the downloaded file will be a bunch of letters and numbers, something like this. Now I also want to make a note, you will need to set up the uh, SDK Tools ADB, install ADB on your computer. I will link to a dis uh, instructional video on how you can do that in the description. It's quite easy, so make sure you do set that up on your computer as well and you have the Android SDK Windows folder um, installed. Anyways, going back to the zip, you will notice that at the end it'll say from KTU 84P. So you do need to be on KTU 84P on your Nexus 4, so go ahead and go into settings and go to about phone, and down at the bottom, that build number, make sure that does say KTU 84P, that's what we need, that's what we need to have on our Nexus 4 to manually update it to Android 5.0 Lollipop. All right, back on our computer, once we have that zip file downloaded and also Android ADB and SDK tools on our computer, right click on where we have that file and hit cut. Now go ahead and navigate to wherever you have that Android SDK Windows folder. Double click on it and then double click to on the Platform Tools folder and paste that update zip inside of your folder. Now what I want you to do is go ahead and hold shift on your keyboard, right click in the Platform Tools folder and hit open command window here. It's going to open up this command prompt like so. Now, what I want you to do is type ADB space devices. Again, make sure your device is plugged in, make sure USB debugging is enabled, and also make sure your screen is on and hit enter. Now, uh, a screen might pop up, allow USB debugging. This screen's gonna pop up. Check always allow from this computer and hit OK. That's very important, otherwise this will not work. If for whatever reason it says ADB does not recognize your device, what I want you to do is go ahead and go into the device manager. Uh, again, if you need to make sure you install those specific drivers that I linked to in the description, I want you to go to the device manager, right click on it and hit update driver software, hit browse my computer and then down at the bottom it says let me pick from a list of device drivers. Make sure, for me, Google Nexus EDB interface was the one that was selected and it didn't work. So make sure it does say Android Composite ADB Interface and it's use that one instead of the Google Nexus ADB Interface. So again, I will link to all those drivers in the description of the video, so make sure you do have that. So now, again, you can type it again in again, ADB space devices, and it'll show a bunch of letters and numbers and let you know that uh, our computer does recognize our device. Now what I want you to do is go ahead and type ADB space reboot space recovery, and then press enter. That's gonna go ahead and reboot our uh, Nexus 4 into stock recovery. So let this go ahead and do its thing. All right, so doing that's gonna take us to this screen. All I need you to do is press, I believe, power button and then the volume up button, and then it's gonna take us to this screen. So press and hold the power button and then press uh, volume up button right after you press the power button, and it should take us to this Android system recovery screen. Use the volume buttons to navigate and the power button to select. Press volume down once until it says apply update from ADB. Press the power button to select it. Down at the bottom of the screen, it'll say, now send the package you want to apply to the device. Now we're ready to go. So, go back to our command prompt, and we need to type ADB space sideload, space, and now what I need you to do is go back into that platform tools folder, and highlight that, file, that update zip file name, the entire thing, and hit copy. Um, control C, copy, and then go ahead and go back to your command prompt, and after you typed sideload space, Right click at the top of the command prompt, highlight edit, and hit paste. And it's going to paste in that entire file name. Make sure at the end it does say .zip. If it does not say .zip at the end, you can just add .zip, so you'll see .zip. 
Don't have dot .zip, dot .zip. Just make sure there's only one dot .zip at the end. And once we've done that, we're actually ready to go. This is actually going to send the file over to our phone and then our phone will manually install it, uh, automatically install it, actually. So let's go ahead and press enter. And you'll see down at the bottom of this command prompt, there's a percentage bar. It'll let you know, I guess, how much of the file has been sent over to your device. Nothing is going on in your device. It's all going on in the command prompt at the moment. And I'll be back once it's at 100%. All right, 100%, now our phone is gonna do the rest of the work. Actually, the command's done. You can unplug your device if you'd like to. I'm not going to, but the command's done. So you'll see um, it's gonna verify the update package. It's going to install it automatically. I'm gonna, you'll see a little progress bar in the background here. Uh, so it's gonna take a bit of time. It's a full operating system update. So I will be back once it's done installing. All right, so you'll see install from ADB complete down at the bottom, and it did take a decent amount of time, so just be patient with it. And now up at the top, you'll see reboot system is highlighted. You can just press the power button to select it, and it's gonna automatically reboot our device. This first boot up is probably gonna take a little bit longer than usual, so be patient with it. Um, and then I will be back once it is uh, booted back up again. Just kind of be patient with this. Check out the new boot animation, I guess an Android 5.0 lollipop. There it is. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so my phone has now rebooted. It did take a while, so keep that in mind. And it should now be on Android 5.0 Lollipop, and it is. So as you can see right away with the notification shade, lock screen, it's all updated. Here's a nice little toggle right here for your flashlight that you can add. Uh, let's go ahead and show you. I'm going into settings, scroll down, about phone, and there it is, Android 5.0 on the Nexus 4. You can quickly tap on Android version and it will take you to that Easter egg if you want to check that out. You can press and hold on it. You can tap it to change colors. Press and hold gets you to the other Easter egg as well. So you can check that out if you'd like to, if you're on your Nexus 4. There you have it though. That's how you manually update without wiping any data. The official over the air update works, uh, works well as you can see. It's running Android 5.0 Lollipop. And that's it. So hopefully if this video helped you out, you give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always guys, thanks for watching.